Okay, so the development of your kick or your right leg foot, okay? So this is going to be very simple, not complicated, okay? Uh, all we're going to do is play a rock beat and add on our bass drum. That's all we're doing. So if you take a simple rock beat, right, such as your eighth note hi-hat and snare drum between four, what do you do with your bass drum? Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to add on bass drum notes. It's going to be a 16th note timeline eventually when all is said and done. We're going to have constant 16th notes going throughout uh, these measures when we get to the last, uh, what do you call it, uh, the last part. Okay, so the first uh, or easiest way to, or I should say the easiest way to start this would be to play your bass drum on beat one, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Simple, right? Okay. And then we're going to, we're still on beat one, okay? We're going to add another bass drum on the E of one. So instead of just one, it's one thing. Okay? So it will sound like this. One, two, three, four. One thing and two and three and four. And one thing and two and three and four. And one thing and two and three and four. And one thing and two and three and four. And you know, I probably should use my metronome since I have one. Pretty, pretty good. One, two, let me do this again. Three, four. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Okay? Pretty simple so far. Okay? Obviously, you could slow these down if you're not comfortable with them. Okay? But the objective after getting all of these is to speed them up. <clears throat> but that comes later. Okay. Then we add another 16th note, and that's on the end, um, the end of one. I'm sorry. So we just add another one. So it's one and two, three, four, one and two. Okay, this is what it sounds like. Okay, right? Then once you're done with that, you add another bass drum, our fourth note in our first beat, okay? That's on the uh of one, so you have one beat and two, three, four. Make sense? So this is what it sounds like. Two, three, four. So that's the first thing to start off with, okay? It's to just build up your, your leg muscles. That's all this is designed to do. Because I hear people, you know, say, uh, especially students of my own that say, how do, I, how do I get a fast foot? Well, this is, you know, this is, uh, when I thought about it, this seems to be the way to go. So... This is the first part of this development of the right kick, okay? By the way, if you want to develop your left leg as well, just basically all you're going to do is you're going to add your left, le left leg to your right leg, but move your right hand over to the right symbol. So you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So all you'll do is just do the basic exercises starting from beat one like I did in the beginning and then going through those variations. So there's no hard and fast rules. I mean, you could, you could just play the left foot if you want. But I find that, you know, if I'm warming up and I'm strapped for time, 
doing both of them at the same time yields better results. Okay, better if you have a double bass drum uh, or a double pedal. So that's the first part of this development series. Okay, so we're going to get into the next part, and all we're doing is adding on to beat two. Basically, that's all we're doing. So uh, please comment. Hope this helps. See you in a little bit.